about to unbox my brand new surfboards and see what is inside. It's like Christmas before Christmas. And it took me years to figure out the best way to open these boxes, like years. And I figured out you just cut a hole in the top and just to lift them all up out of it. Look at these sick, colorful boards. I already see my figure on it. I already see it. I already see it. Wow. What? Five nine fish beard. Dane killer spray. Look at that. Imagine me Dane Killer style at Doctor on this thing. Insert the photo here. Uh. Oh, this is mine right here. Wow, it's so pretty. 6019 Rook 15 looking El Fuego. How do you guys like this new spray job? Change it up. Someone suggested ombre in the comments too. Ombre? Do you know what ombre means? I have no idea what ombre means. Ombre is like when it fades like from one color like mm -hmm. to another. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I chose all red and yellow on my boards if you didn't notice. Because it's Hawaiian royalty. Oh. Open sesame. That's what a quiver looks like. Number one. Six two. Another. The last couple winters, I haven't ordered four fins at all, but I've been looking for more drive in the barrel. And usually switching to four fins give you that drive. So I just went with the five fin setup so I can do both options. Next board. It's a six four barrel board. Some big boy boards. This is a six six happy traveler. This board looks crazy. The difference between a two happy and a happy traveler. A few things. Happy traveler has more of that like even curve, so it's not going to be like curve up in the front and have a lot of rocker through the nose and then a little flatter here and then curve through the back, which is kind of like how the happies are shaped. This one has more of a general curve and just a steady curve through the entire board. And it gives the board a bigger sweet spot so you can move around and be on different parts of the board and have it be responsive still because it has a curve throughout the whole board. Um, and this board will have just a single concave through the whole board, but just a really slight single. And the Happy Twos have a double concave in between the fins. So Happy Twos, since they have that double concave in between the fins, it'll kind of make the board tip over on each side and go around a rail a little easier. But at the same time, it still has that concave in between the fins, so it's creating lift, but it's gonna lift you to one rail or the other rail. I'm, I'm thinking. That's what Britt told me. These are all the things that people have told me and I just try and test it out. <laughs> because with surfboards, you never really know. You can just think you know and try something and maybe it works. And then maybe it doesn't and then you change something up. Thank God for Britt Merrick for being so patient. <laughs> Shaking me fire blades. Whoa, this board looks nuts. So this is a 6.6 six SP12. An SP12 is a semi-pro 12, which is a model Kelly made for barrels, I think. But he's running these a lot at pipe and they always look good, so I wanted to try these. But uh, yeah, these boards are just strictly made to just be in the barrel, big barrels. I'm really liking the spray jobs. And this, these boards look pretty epic. Can't wait to try them. 
But it's nice to just sit back and look at them all. Because they're all so pretty. But they also look that they're gonna look really good. It's getting me really excited for some waves. This is my entire winter quiver from Channel Islands. 6'6, 6'6, 6'4, 6'4, 6'2, 6'2, 6'2, 6'0, twin pin. My favorite numbers, I don't know if you can tell or not, are 6'2s and 6'4s for the winter time. I feel like I can ride those generally anywhere from four foot to 10 foot waves. And then once it gets bigger than that, then I start jumping on the six sixes depending on, I don't know, how the waves are and where I'm surfing. But most of these boards, like if I look at them now, the, this will be a pipe board, this will be a pipe board, this will be a pipe board. And this is looking more like a sunset board. This board is, Probably gonna be like a Hollywood or Sunset board. 6'6, six, six, 19, twin 5'8, 33 liters, happy traveler, 5 pin setup. This looks like it's gonna be a good barrel board. Hopefully, I'm traveling through the barrel on this thing. Red and yellow, black rails. 6'6, six, six, 19, two and a half, happy traveler. Also, five pin setup, but a little more volume. Flame spray job, probably a sunset board. 6'4, 18, and 7'8, two and a half, 30 liters, happy traveler. Five pin setup, a little more pulled in, a little more narrow. Pulled in tail, pinned out tail. A little bit of more of a narrow nose. This looks like more of a barrel board, so I'll probably use it at backdoor pipe or something. Okay, 6'4", 19, two and a half, half a two model. Red flames. Feels like a little more beef on it. This feels like more of like a turn board. It's gonna be really good for turns, so somewhere like Sunset or Hollywood or something. This is a 6-2, happy two model, five pin set. This one's a 6-2, 18, seven eighths, two and a half, 29 liters. Um, a little thinner, a little more narrow, smaller rails it feels like. So this would be generally a pinnier board, pinned out tail. So. This board sounds like it's gonna be really fast. It feels like it's gonna be fast. Slap four pins on it. Um, I think this is a pipe or back door board. 6'2. This is a 6'2 happy two model, 18 7 eighths, two and three eighths. But these rails feel these rails feel a lot fuller. Um, and the edge of the rail, just everything I'm feeling and looking at. This seems like it's a turn board. Probably be good at Hollywood Sunset as well. So, that's that. I have to, but I can already see like, there's more rocker in the front. I mean, see that? Rocker. Um, this is a 6.2. 19 and eight, two and a half, 30 liters. But it has more curve in the board, more rocker in the front. So I think it'll be a really, a more responsive board. Um, but just with a lot of foam and a little wider. This is looking like an air board or a high performance board for somewhere like Rockies or I don't know if you go do some, go somewhere that has big air sections. I think this is the board I'm gonna be using. Just because it's easier to do, it's easier to do airs with boards that have a lot of rocker. Um, it'll give it a lot of pop, and the curve seems to help the board stick to your feet. So I'm excited to try this one. This is a 60, 19 and eighth, two and a half, 29.8 liters, happy two. Um, 
has a lot more curve in the front, just like the last one. So this is another just high performing shortboard that will probably go surf at Rockies and do big airs and stuff. I put a lot more volume in these boards because I'm not really focused on doing like high level like turns or anything. They're pretty much, I got these boards to do huge airs on with plenty of rockers. So. I just want a bigger area to land on. So I made it a little wider and a little thicker. This thing. My thin kilowatt spray job. 5, 9, 19 and a half, 2 and a half, 30 liters fish beard. You can see that. But this is a twin fin. So this is purely fun. And I've actually had a lot of fun on these boards. And um, first time I rode one was uh, actually my friend Parker's board. I know it's super sick, I rode it in Indo. And I just had a lot of fun on it, so I ordered one for this winter. This board is gonna probably be really good for like little back door or a little off the wall when it's clean and sunny and nice, or like we have those crazy fun sandbar days. This is the board I wanna bust out. But, I don't know, it's also a board you just bring down to the beach when everyone's cruising, having a couple beers, and just having a beach day. So, this is a fun board. And that is my entire quiver. From 6'6 six, six to 5'9 fish boards. Hope you guys liked it. Um, every time I get new boards, I'll be able to go through them with you guys and break down my entire quiver that I just got. And hope you guys like the spray jobs. You guys helped me decide what I wanted. So here it is. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like these videos, if you wanna see more of anything of my program, whether it's boards, training, more surfing, let me know. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos for you guys. Uh, and definitely subscribe. Please tune into the channel. You don't want to miss anything. We got a lot of good things coming up. Some, a couple of surf events, some swells, and it's the holidays, so a lot of things going on with me and my family. So definitely tune in. But thank you guys for watching the videos and supporting me and what I do, and hope you guys like it. We'll be dropping a video every Friday, so stay tuned. Aloha.